Starting a business while at school is awesome because you've got a great network. I mean, obviously you've got your friends around, but you've got all sorts of people doing all sorts of different things. And so why not get your business started when people are learning or educating themselves? I mean, you learn as you go. Um, you're learning in school, but you've got the network that you can really plug into to kind of bounce ideas off of them, or maybe they become your potential clients. So uh, starting your business as soon as you can is a great idea. And you know what? You'll learn. You'll make mistakes, and then you know what? You can correct them, fix them, and, and keep moving on. And the pressure's not there because you're still in school, so you're still studying. It's not like you're done school, and then you're starting a business where you feel way over pressured to perform and make sure that you've got everything perfect the first time. Trial and error. It works. No, not at all. I think the most important thing is you've got to be able to learn how to manage your time. And as long as you can manage your time, I think do it all at the same time. I mean, there's, there's no, there was never pressure on me to want to finish first. Uh, I found ways to make it happen. Now, did I get 100% on every exam or test that I wrote? Probably not. Uh, could I have given it a little bit more time and maybe got that extra 2%? Possibly. But at the end of the day, I was putting my, uh, my energy and my resources where I felt I'd get the biggest bang. Listen, students have energy, lots of energy, and that's what you need for business. And so that, that energy vibe, that vibe of wanting to do things and learn and explore is, is what makes it really happen. The challenge every entrepreneur faces no matter who you are. You never have money. I mean, you want to go out and you want to be you know, partying and drinking or doing whatever you want to do on weekends when you're a student. But at the same time... Um, you know, you need money for your business and, and you kind of need money to make money. And so well, how do you do that? Well, you make a couple bucks, you've got to turn those couple bucks into more bucks. And so that's always a challenge is being able to fund your business. And if you've got, if you're smart and wise with your money um, and you really work hard at it, uh, you can get through it. There are ways to get through it, but that's definitely the challenge. When you're a student, people think you're a student, that's all you are. And you know what, you don't know anything because you're a student, you're still learning, so people write you off. But you know what, your action and your determination will overcome that on its own. Never. Um, a couple of reasons. One, my parents would probably kill me. Um, and the second thing is because, you know, school is a journey you start from preschool or junior kindergarten and you go all the way through. So not to be able to finish is just something I, I don't like to leave things open. So for me personally, I wanted to make sure I accomplish and finish uh, what I started. And because you've got a rolling start, the momentum is already built up. So when you graduate university, all of a sudden, bam, you, you've got yourself a whole bunch of free time, but you've got a business already going, and so you can speed it up to fill the time that, that has been, the void that's been left by the lack of classes uh, because you're graduated and you're done. Balancing coursework and, uh, and work, sometimes you're doing it at the same time. Um, sometimes you might be uh, watching a video you had to watch for class while you're sitting there printing t-shirts in my case, but um, you find a way to make it work. I mean, obviously you, uh, you didn't sleep as much as you probably should have to keep a healthy routine, but uh, you make it work. If you can get people working with you um, on your products or your services you're offering then, when they go into their careers, you'd hope that they'd call you um, and, and continue using you throughout. Um, People always say how you know certain restaurant chains might get the kids addicted when they're young because when they're older they're going to be in a habit to continue with them. But uh, realistically, your your customer base will follow you. So if you do good stuff, um, people the network will expand. To be successful at both school um, and work is about doing things that you like. Um, if you're starting a business that you're really passionate about, um, and if you're taking classes, courses, and things that you really want to learn about, that passion and that energy that you have for it, doing things you like, playing to your strength, so to speak, is what's going to make you successful. Doing things you don't want to do um, and you don't have a passion for, but you're forcing it because you feel it's the right thing to do, it, it can work, but at the same time, it could be a demotivator on both sides, whether it's for the business or for school itself. Don't be afraid. There is nothing wrong. You're going to make mistakes and you're probably not going to be perfect off the gate. 
The key for me has been not striving for perfection. Um, it's been striving to get things, hitting milestones and moving on. Um, so don't stress about it. it. Sounds a lot easier, but um, until you start doing things, you get your feet wet, you're going to make mistakes. Just realize that mistakes are just part of that growing process. Um, and I'm sure you'll do it in schoolwork as well, and you do it in your business as well. So uh, don't be afraid.